Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of our tutorial series on web application with Oracle Apex. In the previous episode, we have successfully created trigger to uh, capture the user activity and save it in our database. And in this episode, we will learn how to integrate uh, charts, uh, graphs and calendar in Oracle web application. So without further ado, let's move to our tutorial. So let's go to our app builder. So I'll go to app builder and inside that let's open our application which is online store. So just click on your app and here you can either create a new page or you can add on existing page. So if you want to create a new page then click on create page and from here you can select either chart or dashboard. If you select chart it will insert a single chart but uh, inside the dashboard it has uh, like default design of multiple charts uh, you can uh, choose either of these uh, but I do not want to create a new page instead I want to uh, add the charts on home page since our home page is empty so if we if we run our application let's log in Uh, and so this is my cre uh, credential here in our home page we have nothing we don't have anything so I want to display uh, some summary charts in our home page like uh, products which are low on stocks and the actions like a logs action we will display the chart based on this log and another thing which ca we can display is calendar at the bottom so let's add two charts and one calendar so I will add on home page so let's go to our home page and here we will add uh, charts so as soon as you click on that page you will have this page this is the page and we need to add charts in this section which is content body so if you go down you can see chart so just drag chart inside content body until you see a dark yellow color you just drop in that area and here the here is our chart so let's click on this title so i'll just click this this new and let's give its name so here is title on the right side under identification here is title so let's uh, give its title as low stocks because here we will be displaying products that are low on stocks so low stocks and click on attributes and here we can select the type of chart like bar graph or pie chart or etc but uh, for this one we will select bar graph and here we have errors so we need to fix that so just click on that and here in type so here you have source local lo location local database and type is table or view instead uh, we will use uh, sql query to generate chart so select sql query from the drop down and here you will need to write sql query uh, if you have like accessed uh, my course on database for beginners then there we have talked about aggregate functions like sum count uh, etc and other uh, conditional statement like where and uh, sorting and filtering etc uh, so there we have already talked about discuss about sql query but if you know the sql query then you can also write it here and but uh, for this tutorial i will be using uh, its query builder of oracle apex so let's click on this icon and here you have a icon like a hammer this is query builder and here just click on this and so there this is our table we want to display uh, log data so select the tbl logs so we have table logs and based on the, these columns we will generate sql query so we want to count uh, tbl logs and action and group by action so we will be counting log id like how many insert how many update and how many delete action and we also need to uh, group those count by action 
so we need to uh, select these two columns log id and action and we are like counting the log id so there can be uh, hundreds or thousands of logs but we need to uh, categorize or group those logs based on their action like insert update or delete so we will be counting log id and group by action so let's uh, use the checkbox and function so this is log id and we are counting log id and we are grouped by grouping by action so this is group by action and count log id so let's see the sql query so this is the sql query select count log id log id of table logs as log id and we are also displaying action of tbl logs as action and from tbl logs and group by tbl logs action so let's see the result so this is the result one up one delete one insert and one update so this is the query so let's uh, click on run and let's click on return so this is the query it automatically generated for us now we can use this query to generate chart so let's click on ok so the generated query is automatically inserted in this section sql query now we can give label and value so the label will be action so we need to display the name like insert update and delete which is group by action and value is log id so that's it we can save it and then run it so let's run it and it will be displayed on our home page so low stocks sorry low stocks it it's up it was supposed to be low stocks but we did for so this is not low stock this is log log table and it needs to be pie chart we we were trying to uh, get it as a pie chart so let's change it we can change it easily with uh, without writing any code so in our series or uh, in attributes we can uh, change it change its type from type bar to pie chart and then we can change its name so click on low stocks and change its name to user actions user actions so this is it and you can click on save it save button and run it so with these simple changes it can change its type like delete insert and update let's uh, add another log so i'll go to products and try to do something let's uh, update it and let's change its quantity to let me be four and let's apply changes so uh, update must be increased so let's go to home and update its 50 percent because it has two value and this is one this is one so this is this is how easy it is to generate charts in oracle apex similarly let's add a bar graph for our low stock product so i'll go here in our page and we have user actions here and on the side of user action we need to add bar graph for our low stock product so i'll drag and drop chart on the right side of this user action if you add just on the left side i i, I missed it it was uh, on the left side so i want to add on the left side you can either add on right side or you can add on left side but for now i will add it on left side so just go to the left side and leave it here and it will add a chart so this is our chart on left side and it will be low stock product so just click on new and here under identification change its name from new to low stock products products and let's go to attributes and this will be bar chart so it's okay and let's go to here error on error section that is a cross icon new and here instead of table let's click on sql query and here as previous let's click on this icon and generate sql query for us and click on this at hammer icon and then let's go to our uh, products we are generating chart for low stock products so tbl products and we will be counting quantity and we need to display name of the product so product name is product title and we need to display quantity 
so here let's uh, move it to the top so i'll click on this icon and product title will be on top and here the query is simple it is select all or select product title from tvl underscore product where quantity is less than five so I, I will use a where condition and here is the in condition section when you need you can add condition here so this is where section so here i will add quantity is less than five if the quantity is less than five then it will be known as a uh, low stock product so let's see the re let's see the sql query first so as i uh, told earlier select product title as product title and quantity as quantity from tvl product where tvl product uh, quantity is less than five so this is the query so let's see the result and here we have uh, three products which has quantity less than five motorola has four pizza two burger three so that's it let's use this query in our for our bar chart so i'll click on return and here's the query let's click on ok and we have uh, inserted the query or generated the query uh, for our bar chart let's select the label as uh, product title and value will be quantity so that's it this is it this is how easy to add a chart let's save it and then we can run the application we can run the application and here we have low stock products as a bar chart motorola phone as four pizza is two and burger is three and here we have user actions as a pie chart so this is how easy it is to integrate uh, bar graph and charts in oracle apex web application so let's add a calendar as well in our application so i'll go to page designer again and i want to add a calendar under these two charts so here you have a calendar and let's drag and drop under this and in calendar we will be uh, displaying products and their expiry date so just go to new and we will change its name from new to expiry products products and let's go to table name and here you can click on this icon and select the product name and here it will be tvl underscore product and after changing the title we can go to attributes and here in display column we can display like uh, let's display the name of the product we want to display the name of the product and its uh, expiry date so let's select the product title as display column and start date and we have in date column if we select uh, like start date for manufacture date as start date and in date man expiry date as in date then it will create a timeline which will be a very long uh, timeline but we do not want to uh, show the manufacture date instead we will be showing expiry date on both so select expiry date for both start date and end date so let's save it and let's run it and it will display the column at the bottom so here we have our calendar and two products are expiring on 2nd of may so this is how you can see the calendar or uh, this is how you can integrate calendar easily on oracle apex so i'll go to page designer again and let's see what will happen if i select manufacture date so if i select start date uh, manufacture date in start date column and run it it will create timeline like this so it will uh, create this blue icon timeline from its manufacturing date to expiry date and we do not want that so we will change its start date column to expiry date because we only want to show expiry date or we do not want to see manufacture date and here we have a low stock products uh, bar graph user action pie chart and calendar that shows uh, uh, products that are going to expire so this is guys we have successfully integrated charts and calendars in our oracle web application and this is how easy it is to integrate all these things so if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible and thank you so much for watching i'll see you on next episode till then see you soon bye bye